gonna play some Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time today. This is uh, probably one of my favorite games as a kid. I've had all the Ninja Turtle toys. Um, and it's embarrassing, like I literally have had all the Turtles toys as a kid. Uh, a lot of the stuff you see in the game, I've had them as toys. Um, oh gee, I wonder who that is. That can't be Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> um, all right, let's do this. We get used to these controls again, and we're off. So I never really understood why, like. The Foot Clan dudes, they just didn't die, right? They blew up. Like, are they supposed to be cyborgs? I thought they were ninjas. Like, uh... I never understood that part of, like, the, the turtle's lore in the cartoon. So I'm pretty sure they're just ninjas that are really bad at fighting people like stormtroopers are at shooting. Also, look at this cannonball, uh, or wrecking ball. It's... Yeah, it's like going in random spots, but at the same time, it's it's just stupid. You have to be really dumb to get hit by that. Anyway. So. As I'm playing this, I'm like thinking of how much of a... a 80s trope this is, right? Like, how much of an 80s and 90s thing... That the turtles really are like you can't bring that in today's society like there's no way uh, it just doesn't hold up right um, it's locked in the bubble of the 1980s or the early 90s um, if you look at it it came down to like an era of anamorphic people right so there was Ninja Turtles Big Bad Beetleborgs the Power Rangers which used uh, dinosaurs for their uh, zords. You had battle toads, uh, street sharks, uh, thundercats. Like there was just a lot of anamorphic heroes back in that time frame, and a lot of that stuff just doesn't translate to today. Like if you've seen Michael Bay's latest uh, Ninja Turtles movie, you can't tell me that Bebop and Rocksteady didn't look out of place. Like that that they tried to bring that like eighties post punk style like back to life and it just doesn't work. It was horrible. Michael Bay is horrible. He ruins childhoods. Fuck that guy. Fuck him and his explosions. And fuck these guys for whooping my ass, god damn it. Get off me, bitch. That's right, you die. Oh no, it's Jeff Goldblum. He's gonna talk me to death. He's like, <laughs> kick his ass. That guy has the most annoying, well, next to me, probably the most annoying voice I've ever heard. Ugh. I take it back. I don't think I've had like, every single Turtles toy because I've never had a Baxter Stockman toy. Uh, simply because I don't like Baxter Stockman as a character. We get it. shoot, shoot, shoot. You're gonna, you know, yeah, okay. Oh, gee, I wonder what he's gonna do next. Is it the hand move or is it the shooting move and then dip down? Perhaps he'll do both. Ooh, wow. Ooh, okay, that was new. He punched me that time. Oh, shit. Goodbye, Mr. Goldblum. It was nice. Gee, I wonder who that was. So 
So this is kind of like a Pokemon thing going on to it, right? Or like, guess the Pokemon or, or Poke Rap or whatever the fuck it was. And and for kids, I guess that's cool because maybe kids uh, can't perceive what a shadowed version of a character looks like. Um, but as an adult playing this game, I'm just like, yeah, that's clearly clearly Metalhead or M Head as they put in this game. Ugh. And I pick Raph because he's my favorite character. I mean, they all had like their own dynamic personalities, right? You had Donatello who was super scientific and nerdy, and um, Leo who was serious all the time and like too adult for for his age. Um, Mikey who was just how you want to be as a child, you know, carefree, not giving a fuck. Um, and then Raphael, which is the angry, angsty one. And of course, I gravitate towards that. Shocker there, right? <laughs> oh. Stop going down cre creepy ass caves, then, dude. Stop falling down. Might help if I move the joystick away from there. Or the D pad, rather. Pizza time! Get down to the music, like none of this translates to today. This is horrible. Remember like, uh, this is also like one of those Reaganomics, uh, type of, um, cartoons. Where it's all like, you can do it! And like, had some strong conservative morals to it. It's like, we don't care about your fucking morality. Just beat stuff up. Like, what kids like watching a cartoon about ninjas and thinking, okay, um, I need to learn some important life lessons here. Is that what was like Sesame Street and shit was for? I personally like Eureka's Castle, so that was like one of my favorite shows. Skimming a rinky dinky dink, motherfuckers. I had toys of these guys too, but I don't know. Now that you look back on it or like look at them on the screen, they look pretty phallic. Like I'm beating up a couple of dicks. So I'm just gonna isolate that and like cut out part of that so it just sounds like I'm talking about dicks. Oof. Stupid cave. Oh, we have different uniforms on. Oh. I have a sword. Uh -huh. All right, boss fight. There he is. There's the shithead. So, not only did I have this toy, but because I hated the character so much, I would beat that toy up relentlessly. I think by it was by it was. Oh god, I can't talk. By the time it's all said and done, uh. The only thing I had that was original on him was his head. Like, he had, like, G.I. Joe arms and shit. Um. Oh, come on. You wanna corner fight me was a Street Fighter? But, uh, yeah. Um. I absolutely hate this character. Fuck you. So I like uh, uh, the fact that the game is called Turtles in Time, right? And it starts in the present day and you get hoisted back to the... Oh, motherfucker. Alright, let me try Mikey this time. Um, yep. So it's called Turtles in Time. And I think that was in part because at around the same time 
uh, that this came out, or this was going to come out, uh, they had um, Ninja Turtles 3, the movie, which that also went back in time. So they did a good job of doing like a parallel um, type of game. Um, another famous, I uh, like a uh, another famous version of that would be the Arkham Knight uh, video game and the Dark Knight Rises, right? So both of those had very similar storylines or at least story plot points um, because they were released around the same time. So it's great that they kept in the Turtleverse here. Um, they kept with a parallel storyline, um, but at the same time, kept true to the cartoon and didn't try to make it a movie game. Because if there was anything that was the, the worst thing you could possibly do uh, as a game developer, uh, even in like the X, early Xbox days, is make a movie video game. Uh, those is, are fucking terrible. Um, there's not one good one. Uh, you cannot name me one good movie video game. Okay, I take that back. I can name one, and that's Batman Returns. That, that was a really good game. I might actually play that next. Just kicking all these motherfuckers' asses. So easily I could have picked Leonardo or Donatello and got more range. But I like, I like making them a little bit more difficult by having them be more melee. Um, and up close and personal. They're, they're all melee. That was stupid. It's all melee. But I like being a little more close quarter than, say, a, what a Leonardo or Donatello can provide in this game. So, Mikey and Raph are my usually go-tos, other than being my favorites. I mean, the game, the gameplay itself is practically the same all across the board, so... Got killed by those two dicks. Double penetration. Oh my god, he fucked me hard, Spree. No condom or lube, Spree. <laughs> oh, whooping that ass. Oof. So, you're telling me that these fucking basic bitches can lift up a heavy ass manhole cover and throw it against my face, but they can't, like, power drive a turtle? That don't make no. You don't make no thanth. Foot Clan, what's that? Like a racist uh, community for feet? Tith. Ugh. What, what, Try to be Mike Tyson and fucking punch out over there with a double fucking uppercut. Did you see that shit? This little claw arm. Piece of shit. Oh god, stop kicking me, you fucking cunt. Oh, here we go. I better whoop this dude's ass. Yeah, take that ass whooping. Fucking growing like a pregnant chick at a fucking chocolate factory. Yay! I like how all the end, like all the bosses, when you kill them, they do like a half, like two half steps, and then blow up. It kind of reminds me of like Rita Repulsa and all her minions and Power Rangers. Oh shit, we're fighting Xenomorphs. What the fuck is this? 
I assure you H.R. Geiger did not want his designs in this game. I know it's all that serious in this game. Was April hanging with Ripley? Shit. I forgot how cool this level was. And all these surfboards you see, like I've had like at least one variant of the surfboards. I had the green one that Mikey's on. I've had the Blue Foot Clan ones. Um, I think the boss is a big ass ship, like a warship dude. Um, and I had that as well. So, ooh. Yeah. Can they not displace these like all over the map so you can move around? Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Alien to run. Oh. Like, why are the xenomorphs even in here? Does anyone know? Ooh, thank God, I got some health. All right. I knew it. Yep, I had that. I had that very toy. Uh, the rockets actually shot out, and like you had to press a button in the back. Um, I don't remember that weird phallic fucking like laser gun thing though. There's a lot of innuendos with Ninja Turtles. I'm starting to realize. <laughs> Huh. And why is he dressed like he's getting ready to like hunt wild game somewhere in a safari instead of like being dressed for the sewer? Sewer. God damn it, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Motherfucker. Well, that's where I'm gonna call it, guys. Thanks for watching.